Students, teachers, and staff in several upstate districts are now midway through their first week of school. 7 News' Jennifer Martin shows us how students are adapting to a new normal at Cal Penn's Elementary School. The principal here at Cal Penn's Elementary School says that things went smoothly for a third day in a row here. This is a District 3 school, which is on a hybrid plan, and they will reassess on September 8th to see if it's possible to start moving towards more days a week of in-person learning. Here to keep students safe, they are doing temperature checks at the door and asking students and staff to wear masks whenever they cannot stay socially distant. So, for example, when entering the building and in hallways. And here at Cal Penn's Elementary, there was a great need for school supplies. So one Spartanburg company, Cooper Standard, ran a supply drive last week. They do char charitable work with schools in the area. Cooper Standard collected about $1,200 worth of supplies and are doing a cash match donation for a total of $2,500. Parents are asked to make sure that their kids have masks and a smaller number of school supplies than usual. So Principal Cindy Sneed says that kids have actually been excited to wear masks. Had one get out yesterday with a big SpongeBob mask with a huge toothy grin and with their names personalized. Some have little attachments so that when they are able to take it off for a minute, they're not laying it down. So parents have done their homework really to help prepare these kids. And one virtual teacher I talked to said she's responding to about 100 emails a day from parents with technology questions as they're helping their students complete their virtual assignments at home. So she says to keep those questions coming, they're happy to help, but to have a little patience with them. In Cal Pins, Jennifer Martin, 7 News.